Hey everybody, uh, Mr. Bullock here again. Um, this is uh, solving AX squared plus BX plus C by factoring. Okay, this is when there's a number other than one in front of the X squared right there. All right, so um, I, I do this technique by uh, factoring by grouping. So if you want to see a lesson on factoring by grouping, go back to my playlist and, and look in Algebra 1. It would be Section 9.9, .9, I think, factoring by grouping. So I think you can get along what I'm doing in here when, once you see it. Okay, so steps to factoring AX squared plus BX plus C. And I'm going to show you by an example by factoring 15X squared plus 16X plus 4. Okay, so, uh, so multiply A and C. So here I'm going to multiply uh, 15 times 4. 15 times 4 equals 60. And then, then you think of factors of that number 60 that add to the middle term 16. Well, 60 also equals uh, 10 times 6. All right, you with me? Okay, so... Uh, then I rewrite your polynomial and replace this 16x with the two numbers that I got right here, 10x and 6x. So there's my 16x right there. And the reason why I did that is because I can now factor this by grouping. All right, and factoring it by grouping, and I'll show you that over here. Here's 15x plus 10x plus 6x plus 4, 15x squared, sorry. Um, and I factor by grouping. And factoring by grouping is you, when you group the first two terms, okay? And then think of just 15x squared plus 10x. Can you GCF out a 15 and a 10? I can pull a 5 out. Do you see that? I can also pull an x out of those two guys. And then group the second two guys. And I can pull a 2 out of both those guys. And what happens when I do that, check it out, you guys. When I pull the 5x out of this guy and this guy, I'm left with 3x plus 2. When I pull the 2 out of this guy, I'm left with the same 3x plus 2. All right, now if you're kind of confused, imagine distributing this 5x through, take me back up to here, and imagine distributing this 2 back through, it would take me back up to here. All right, so what I'm going to do now is pull that red 3x plus 2 out. When I pull that red 3x plus 2 out, I'm left with blue stuff, 5x plus 2. All right, there it is factored right there. All right, pretty groovy, huh? Let's try another one here. Uh, 3p squared plus 14p minus 5. Okay, so I'm going to multiply 3 times negative 5 is negative 15. And factors of negative 15 that add to positive 14 are 15 times negative 1. So I'm going to rewrite this and replace this 14p with 15p minus 1p. Check it out. Okay, then I group the first two and group the second two. All right, now check it out. When I pulled that, when I grouped them and wrapped it in parentheses, I pulled that negative out and it changed that negative 1 to a positive 1 and it changed that negative 5 to a positive 5. And if you're kind of lost on that, imagine redistributing the negative through. It would get me a negative 1 and then a negative times a negative would get me a positive 5. So if I pull a negative out, it's going to always change that sign right there, always. All right, I can pull a 3p out of those guys. The only thing I can pull out of these two guys is a 1. Watch what happens, you guys. When I pull the 3p out, I'm left with p plus 5. When I pull the 1 out, I'm left with p plus 5. They have the both common p plus 5s in there. And so when you pull the p plus 5s out, you're left with uh, the red stuff, 3p minus 1. Works every time, you guys. I love this. It eliminates guessing and checking, you guys. All right, whenever it leads off with a negative right there in front of your quadratic term, your x squared term is your quadratic term, pull the negative out, okay? So I pulled the negative out and changed all the signs of everything. Then I'm going to do 4 times negative 7 is negative 28. Notice, um, uh, oops, I, okay, and then negative 28 that, that adds to negative 12 or negative 14 times 2, okay? Negative 14 plus 2 is negative 12. All right, so I'm going to rewrite that, replacing this negative 12x with negative 14x plus 2. Watch out for the negative that I pulled out. Don't lose that. A lot of kids want to lose that right there, so that's why I have these brackets right there. Then I'm going to group the first two together, group the second two together. Looks like I can only pull another one out of the second two. Out of the first two, I can pull a uh, 2x out, right? Okay, and out of these guys, I can only pull a 1. So when I pull a 2x out, 2x out of that, I'm left with 2x. 2x out of that, I'm left with 7. Now they both have the common blue 2x minus 7. So I'll pull that out. And don't forget the negative that's out there. And I'm left with the red stuff, 2x plus 1. Every time it works that way, you guys. All right, so let's solve some of these, you guys. Okay, okay we're going to go ahead and solve. I'm going to divide both sides by negative 1 because I don't want that to be a negative. I don't like factoring negative quadratics. I like them to be positive. Okay, this one's an easy guessing and checking. You can do the factoring by multiplying these two numbers if you want, 6 and you get 2 and 3. 
But this one's pretty easy to guess and check on this, and this is how your, your other algebra teachers will teach you this, and it's easy on this one. It's just harder on like that first one I gave you, the 15x squared. All right, so factors are, um, this one factors to 2y times y, and then this is only 3 times 1 or 1 times 3. You just got to place them around in the right spots right there. So there's 2y times y gets me 2y squared. I got to put the 3 times 1, either put 1 and 3 here, or put um, 3 here and 1 here, and then just mix and match and, and mentally multiply. That's the ticket right there. If I did inner times inner is plus 3y. Outer times outer is uh, plus 2y to get me the plus 5y right there. Then set those factors equal to 0, okay, and then solve, and you get um, uh, y equals negative 3 halves or y equals negative 1. Never fear. I have another one for you. Okay, here I'm going to multiply 6 times negative 4 is negative 24. Factors of negative 24 are negative 8 and 3. So I'm going to replace this negative 5y with negative 8y plus 3y. And then uh, factor by grouping right there. So I grouped the 2y out, and I, here I only grouped the 1 out. So most of the time I can pull something else out of these two guys. Darn it, I wish I would have figured that out before I finished this right here. Anyways, and then factor, set the factors equal to 0, and you get those as your roots or your solutions right there. Okay, or your zeros. Sometimes your book says zeros. Okay, there's my class's homework right there. See you in the next one.